in terms of the bride i think there's a sense where the the understanding of the church being the bride has meant the church has stayed a perpetual bride because the wrong understanding of eschatology using revelation of the marriage supper of the lamb puts off marriage with god to a future date which is not true therefore we're not the bride any longer we're the wife you don't want to stay a bride the bride has no consummation that's just the wedding day you know the the relationship goes on in marriage after the wedding day so you're not a perpetual bride you then become a wife so i do feel some of the things with intimacy and things talking about the bride don't go far enough in terms of consummation because god obviously consummates our relationship not in a sexual way of course but in a way of intimacy that goes way beyond what you have when you're just getting married into what it's like when you are married so i would say technically we now the we are the wife of god um, and therefore no longer a bride uh, in that way so i think there is a deeper understanding of what love is um, and that it's not obviously just not a one-off love affair this is that we're all individually part of the body therefore there's an individual consummation of that relationship in intimacy as well as seeing it as a corporate thing because i think if you see it as a corporate thing almost like well you're tagged into it just because everyone else is but god has chosen you specifically and in fact in one sense actually you know the whole of creation is married to god as creator and father in that way um and most of most of it doesn't know it yet but it still is so in terms of the bridal realm when you have the process of the the marriage you had the four chambers of the heart that represented four stages of intimacy you had initially the garden where the you would look into each other's eyes and express desire for one another then you have the dance floor where you would be entwined with one another and become into a deeper sense of we love each other and then there's the soaking room which is the preparation for the marriage which is the sort of when we're going through refining purifying you could say but also you know fragrant oils perfumes and you got the picture of esther being prepared to to for 12 months with perfumes and oils before she went into the king um and there's a sense where there is a sense where we get even more uh ready for that consummation and then you have the bridal chamber which is the consummation and that consummation is a deeper oneness and intimacy of becoming one with him whoever's joined to the lord and that joining is marriage is one spirit with him and that ultimately i think is the the desire for god is that we will be one spirit one mind one heart with him in intimacy in a relationship which goes way way beyond anything human relationships can have but obviously the human marriage is sort of the a reflection of that and marriage is really not the piece of paper marriage is the commitment of two people to one another spirit soul and body in which they become one and i think that's the desire that god has for us as his people that we would become one in a in a things now of course these are uh, and you know analogies and metaphors for what goes on in our spiritual relationship but they give us an insight in that god wants to draw us near bring us deeper prepare us for consummation of becoming one with him so that's how i would see sort of the understanding of the bride but you don't want to be on your bridal day without your bridal night so in a sense this is going beyond the concept of bride being wife married to god in a in a different level of intimacy if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much